everybody, my name is Luke Mar, and this is Hot La Mode, and today on Hot La Mode, we are going to be discussing Kim Jones' appointment to Dior Homme. Now, if you guys have not heard, Kim Jones, who was the creative director of Louis Vuitton Men's, was brought over from Louis Vuitton to do Dior Homme after the leaving of Chris Van Ash. Before we get into the actual video, though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, critical, sassy, bitchy way, this is it. So you can go down below and hit the subscribe button, and also turn on my post notifications so that you know when I post and you'll be happy and I'll be happy. Also, if you guys like these kinds of fashion news dissection videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys and if you guys are looking to hear more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Holomo because I post on there all the time. Now, let's get into the actual discussion. Before we talk about Kim Jones, we kind of have to talk about Chris Van Ash. So, Chris Van Ash has been doing Dior Homme for quite a while. He was the apprentice to Eddie Slamon, who was kind of this juggernaut for Dior Homme originally. And if you know anything about Eddie, there's a lot of suiting involved. And that's pretty much what was going on during Chris Van Ash's whole time at Dior. I don't think it really changed much between his time with Raph Simmons and his time with Maria Grazia Curie. There was just a lot of the same. It was kind of stale. Nobody really was like, wow, this is super interesting or great. It was great for suits and that was about it. You could definitely tell that he was trying to take inspiration from any of the women's wear pieces that were going down the runway during his tenure with Maria Grazia Curie because he was putting on these like strap neck scarves and stuff that were reminiscent of the little straps from the Dior dresses. So he was trying, it's just, I don't think it was gonna ever really work. So yeah, Chris Van Ash, thanks for doing you, honey boo boo, but uh, it's time to move on. Now let's talk about Kim Jones. Yeah, the Chris Van Ash segment was really, really short. There wasn't really that much to talk about. So Kim Jones at Dior, let's discuss it. Kim Jones is known really for his time at Louis Vuitton. He was the creme de la creme in 2017 because he oversaw the Supreme Louis Vuitton collab. I don't think that Kim was ever really like big until that collab. I mean, obviously he was known in the industry, but I don't think he was like kind of a household streetwear name until the collab came out. And while the collab was simple, I think he did a really good job of just you know, making it work. I'm not saying it was revolutionary, but that shit sold and it was great PR for both Supreme and Louis Vuitton. So you're probably saying, oh, well, he's leaving Louis Vuitton. Like, what is he gonna do with Dior? Well, it's really not that big of a deal because Dior is actually owned by LVMH, which is the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy company, which is the parent company of both Louis Vuitton and Dior. So he may be leaving Louis Vuitton, but he's not leaving parent company LVMH. I was very interested by this announcement because a lot of people assumed that he was going to be going to Burberry. Obviously, Ricardo Tiski is at Burberry, but I assumed he was going to be heading up a women's wear line, and I'm kind of shocked that he decided against that. Not saying that he is a women's wear designer per se, but I think a lot of designers really want to, you know, bring it to the next level. Men's wear is great, but women's women's wear is really where the glory comes from. And I really respect Kim's decision not to do women's wear because I think it shows that he really is dedicated to men's wear and the idea of it. Kim also described Dior as the ultimate elegance, which is interesting because it's kind of a juxtaposition from his very streetwear influenced looks. His Louis Vuitton looks were interesting and luxury, but I would never say that they were revolutionary design wise. So it'll be interesting to see how he intertwines streetwear with this ultimate elegance. As I said before with Chris Van Ash, there is definitely an injection of the women's wear creative and inspirations that go into the men's wear Dior own line. So I'm wondering how Kim is going to take on the idea of the Dior feminist now and how he's going to put it on the Dior own runway. I don't even know if he will do that. I think that he probably will shy away from that, but we'll see how it goes. I think I am excited for Kim to do Dior because I think his Louis Vuitton was the real reason that Louis Vuitton menswear got put on the map. I think Dior Om has a very big heritage in terms of Eddie Simon, but we haven't seen Eddie's Dior Om in a very long time. So I think that this is going to be a new chapter. The interesting thing I think about Dior 
Dior is that Dior is a brand of eras. There was the Christian Dior era, the Yves Saint Laurent era, the Raph Simmons era. So I'm wondering if there's going to be an Eddie Salmon era and a Kim Jones era, and if Dior Homme will then start to also be a era type brand as well. Speaking about Kim's actual design abilities, I think that for the most part, he really did keep it simple. It was wearable menswear. You could see the streetwear influence start to trickle in as he started to put more sneakers on the runway around like 2014. So I'm interested. I think he is very cultured and I think he does bring a cultured factor to his Louis Vuitton menswear. I'm hoping that he does the same with the Dior Ohm as well. And honestly, his finale collection at Louis Vuitton made me gain so much respect for him as a designer. I really thought it was brilliant and I hope that that is what he brings to Dior Ohm. I hope it is not just simple luxury. I hope it really is interesting and amazing and out of the box. So let me know what you guys think of Kim Jones going to Dior Ohm. I'm very interested. I can't wait to see what happens. I hope it does not disappoint. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video and TTYL.